common question from patients is uh, what is a radio frequency or what is an ablation technique? An ablation technique is something that we use to interrupt nerve conduction in many nerves of our body. That is one of the primary reasons we use ablation. In other words, the tiny destruction of tiny segment to interrupt signals. How does the radio frequency work? The radio frequency will deliver the heat in a very controlled way through increasing the movements of the tiny molecules on the tissues where the tip of that wire or radio frequency probe is positioned. In order to position the probe uh, accurately, we use x-rays or ultrasounds and use needles that are insulated in order to use them as a conduit. At the end, once we had positioned the needle exactly where this pen is in the case of a radio frequency of the medial branch nerve of the facet joint of the spine, we just use that needle and put a wire through the needle. Connect the wire to the radio frequency machine and let the wire be a thermometer, a nerve finder, and a radio frequency wire that will heat up a very small millimeter a section of the tiny nerve. Once uh, that is achieved in 90 seconds, we just remove the wire and the needle and put a bandit on the skin. And we have achieved an interruption of the pain signal that lasts an average of nine to 12 months in most patients. Can be repeated, very easy to do. Patients don't feel pain because they are under a light sedation during this technique. Once we know that the source of the pain is coming from the joint, in this case, the facet joints of the spine, uh, we go ahead and do the radio frequency ablation. The radio frequency ablation will interrupt the signal of pain immediately. So the pain from the joint is controlled immediately. However, because of the technique itself works due to the creation of a tiny burn on the surface of the joint, that technique will inflame that small amount of tissue and the patient may be achy during a week or two, it may have a sunburn sensation, all that goes away. It's just part of the procedure, is a small price to pay, easy to tolerate with eyes, rest, Tylenol or ibuprofen for the most part. Uh, many patients don't feel anything and many patients do have a, an experience relief from the beginning, other will uh, take a little while, like a days or a week or two before experiencing the relief. A question that sometimes we're asked is why we cannot, or if we can do the ablation of the spine in the two sides, left and right, on the same day. The answer is uh, we could do it on the same day, not commonly done in any practice in the US, uh, but it is possible. The reasons that we don't do it is uh, this a lengthier procedure that is done under sedation. If a patient is having that done or the local, uh, a bilateral multi-level procedure is going to be too painful. We do want to maintain in our patients, especially the patients that are uh, benefiting from aging processes, are normally patients that we don't want to keep them sedated for a long time in lengthy procedures. So we do uh, try to minimize that part of the recovery time as well. Also, uh, the potential side effect that I had spoken about, uh, the achiness of the spine, it is much better tolerated and the functionality goes up when it's done unilaterally. Uh, bilateral procedures can uh, produce a much more difficult to deal 
uh, sunburn sensations or, or achiness in the spine. And we really want the patients to be uh, active, uh, recovering from the radio frequency, actually resting immediately to or too long is not a conducive for a quick recovery. The other reason is that it, the insurances uh, do not pay a full price per when it is combined. So those are the reasons why uh, in the United States, uh, practitioners normally will be booking the radio frequencies in two different days. We are frequently asked what to do and what not to do, what activities are to be avoided and, or encouraged. The first uh, 48 hours, we do recommend patients not to submerge the entry or needle side in water. So we discourage patients from going to pools or have uh, bathtubs or to go to the ocean, mainly to avoid infections. Other than that, Unless the patient has other reasons, like a severe spinal stenosis or herniations of discs or other reasons uh, health-wise, if the patient has none of that, then we recommend the patient to engage as fast as possible to previous level of activity. Uh, the more they uh, move and stretch, the better it's going to be.